Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today we're going to go through my everyday makeup basket for March of 2020. As you can probably see, this box is a hot mess. <laughs> I try not to really take too many things out until I do this video and I explain things, so sometimes at the end of the month it just looks like a hot mess. Sorry if you can hear the wind. It is very windy today. We're supposed to get a storm later. But I try not to like take anything out until I can like get my thoughts together at the end of the month for this basket. So hopefully we can clean this out, make it a bit more organized, and shop my stash for some fun new things. Okay, so let's talk about the mess that is my top shelf area first. <laughs> I finally finished reading this. This is the original Curly Girl handbook um, by Lorraine Massey, who was the founder of Diva Curl and the Curly Girl method. I just wanted to read this just to learn about different methods. They actually have a whole chapter in here about cutting your own hair and basically anything aside from the full Curly Girl method and the Diva Curl products is what I was kind of going at. So I'm glad I got it. I'm glad that I read it but I'm still not using Diva Curl. <laughs> if you missed my uh, Bochinche chat where I talked about the Diva Curl dilemma, I'll put that up in the cards. But I believe I can move that book out now and I have some cards over here that I just use to do like my eyeshadow. <laughs> I don't really need all of these. So let's keep the lucky you because March is, March is what? St. Patrick's Day. So let's keep that one. This is the card from my February, um, what is it called? Try Beauty Box. So I'll keep that somewhere safe until then. Uh, this is from a Tatcha box. I don't need that anymore. And then this Zoeva box. I don't need that anymore. So those can get recycled. Oh, and I like collecting, I get a lot of junk mail. I like collecting these stupid little fake credit cards that they give you in the junk mail because you can also use this for your eyeshadow to do that wing that I do so I have like five of them <laughs> so much junk mail so uh I like other than recycling and I like to use a bit and then recycle okay so this is my little tripod thing for my camera that can just get moved over for a minute I already replaced my face spray so I have this face primer from Shop Miss A. I like the setting spray better, but the primer spray is oh, it's decent. I've been using the primer water from Smashbox a lot recently just to really moisturize and give me a bit more of like a moisture barrier before I go in with my foundation. So I've had those two. I am like almost done with this Fix Plus. It's like down there. I need to finish that up. And then I pulled this out because I finished my other Shop Miss A setting spray. So I pulled out the uh, Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow. So that should be fine there. I'm going to keep the Sailor Moon box. It's adorable. I think I'm going to hang it up actually. So if we twist this way, it's a bit of a mess because this just broke. But on this wall, I do have some things hung up. Um, I've got like some old ABH things. And then down here, I've got a Valentine from my boyfriend. And I've got some packages hung up. Well, not packages, but like products hung up there from ColourPop and uh, sugar pill products so I might cut it up and just hang it up there uh, but either way I want to keep the packaging so I'm going to put this somewhere safe and not just up here I think I'm going to move this this is a mirror it's the 10 times magnification that goes with my uh, makeup mirror over there so I think I'm just going to put this over on that side of the desk. And then this is my lotion. This isn't actually the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I just like the bot the container and the bottle. So I just refill it with different lotions. And I have to keep lotion right here because I need moisture. Okay, let's go through here. I'm going to move these. So I'm going to move these eyeliners back into my collection. I've got this double-sided Pixie liner. And then I've got these two Esquito liners. Honestly, I love these two Esquito liners. I did a review on my Instagram for them. And they're some of the only liners that last in my waterline literally all day. So they're good, but I've got a lot of other eyeliners I need to use, so I need to rotate them out. I tested the Fenty Fly Liner, and honestly, I'm pretty disappointed. I don't like it, so I'm going to make this an empty and just move it out. And I've got the NYX Epic Ink Liner, if it wants to focus the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I like it, but I actually haven't been reaching for like a uh, liquid liner recently at all so I'll just rotate that back into my collection. I kind of don't know why I picked this up. This is from Joa and it's the Precision Brow Pencil. I haven't really used a brow pencil in my brows for a while so I don't know why. I thought I would kind of change things up but I'm not reaching for it so I'll just put it back into my collection for now. 
Uh, didn't really use this Marc Jacobs liner too much. I'll move it back in. Oh, I think, unfortunately, I think my Lash Princess has reached its three month mark, so this is an empty. And I'll just move up. I've got this little mini of the Urban Decay Perversion Liner, uh, so I'll move that up. I still have my NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. It's like my favorite brow gel, like, ever. I love it. I got my glitter glue. Keep that there. I've got... I need to clean it, but I've got my eyelash curler. Let's look at the lipsticks. I'm still keeping just, like, the green lipsticks. So let me move... We'll keep the green lipsticks in this, like, last row. So green... This is a black lipstick. I actually don't like this one as much. It's from Carity. So I might move this back into my collection and reserve this because I also just picked up a few more green lipsticks and I'm waiting for them to get delivered. So we'll save this just for the green lipsticks and I should have a green lipstick video out. I'm hoping to get it out by uh, St. Patrick's Day. So hopefully I can. I've got these two bullet lipsticks. I don't think I can put them in. Will you get stuck? I can get it out. Yeah, I'll put them just to make it a little bit more organized. Those two green lipsticks there. So actually, I do have a decent amount of green lipsticks already. This gloss I got in my last Tri Beauty box, so I guess I'll keep it here just so I can test it out a little bit before I do the next video. I think that's everything in this container. Over here, I have the foundation that I wore yesterday. Whenever I wear a foundation, I like to keep it up here so I can remind myself at the end of the day what I was wearing. And this is a new concealer. I'm actually going to move this into the concealer drawer or the foundation concealer drawer whenever I actually like clean it out in a few minutes. But this is from Pat McGrath. I actually got gifted this through Influencer. I got her new concealer kit. So it came with the brush, which is right here. I got the concealer brush, I got the powder, and I got the concealer. So I'm really excited to test this out. It's like my first Pat McGrath um, base product. So very, very exciting. Now, these two concealers, I've got a bone to pick with them. I don't know what the issue is. So these used to be some of my favorite concealers ever. Like, they always looked great no matter what powder I used them with, no matter what foundation. I used both of these recently. Well, now they're a bit darker for me. But even using them just on their own, they look terrible. And I don't know if it's just the powders that I'm using, because I only have two powders right now for under my eyes. But they... They don't look good, and I'm shocked because these these are some of my favorite formulas ever. I've recommended them several times over in all of my a lot of my videos, so I really don't know. I think I'm just gonna put them back into my concealer drawer and pull them back out in a while and see if maybe it's just my skin being weird this time of year or what. But uh, I was, that was just really strange because these used to be some of my favorites, and they looked they like aged me at least 20 years under my eyes. It's kind of Shocking. Okay, so those are gonna get put back into the drawer. So let's move on. I'll have to move the camera. Let's move on into the first drawer. All right, here we are in my first pretty messy drawer. Foundations and conceal. Oh, it's so windy outside. Foundations and concealers. So I'm gonna keep my white mixer because I need my white mixer. I I think I'm finally ready to review these two foundations. I'm gonna do a review roundup uh, sometime. Maybe I'll do a live stream, but I need to do a review roundup because I don't know if I'll do a full video on either one of these because honestly speaking, they weren't really the best. I didn't really fall in love with either of these. So uh, let's see, I'll move them to the side just so I can remember to film some kind of roundup video. This foundation kind of came out of left field for me. I wasn't really expecting it. I just picked it up like on a whim and I actually like it. <laughs> it's pretty decent for an affordable drugstore foundation. So uh, should I leave this in? I think I'll leave this one in along with this new ColourPop one. It's so bright. So I finally picked up the ColourPop Pretty Fresh a Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer and the concealer. And I actually did a decent job of uh, matching my skin tone so I don't have to mix this. I don't have to mix the concealer which is awesome. So I'll keep those two. I am going to move out this uh, Garnier BB cream I was using as a primer. I'll put that back in my primer drawer. I still have my lash glue in here, which is more of a dream than anything. I still don't really wear lashes that much. I'm almost finished with this cut crease canvas. It's getting to the point where I need to like scrape the edges to get some out. So I'm gonna keep using it for my eye primer and hopefully I can finish it up soon. I love this concealer from Shop Miss A. It's honestly one of like the best concealers ever but I need to 
do some more, like do some more testing, try some new things out, including this new Pat McGrath concealer. So I'm gonna bring in the Pat McGrath, bring back down my MAC Studio Fix, and we still have plenty in here. And I think this is actually almost empty. This is the uh, Shop Miss AOA Studio Satin Foundation. And I think this is just about empty. So I'm going to see if I can get any more out. But that's probably already an empty. Moving over here. I've got these two putty primers. I didn't use the matte putty primer. It's not the time of year for me to use a matte putty primer. So I really didn't use that. I need to pull that back out once it starts to get hot. And it's like summertime here. The Luminous Putty Primer I actually used a lot and this is something I also need to throw into a like review roundup video because I, I I actually like this I think it's decent it's not better than the original putty primer not at all <laughs> but it's still a good primer so I do need to do like I'll, I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna get products together I'll do a review roundup video maybe I'll film it after this one but uh it'll be in that review roundup pile so this is everything we have in our first drawer the next drawer is also uh oh wait I lied forgot to put forgot to put the white mixer back in <laughs> Now it's everything. Now this drawer is messy. Pretty messy. I'm gonna include these putty eye primers in the list of things I have to do review roundup on. I've tested them out. I actually, I like them, but they're not as good as a paint pot. Throwing that out there right now. But I mean, they're a decent eye primer and you can also use them for uh, like concealing primer. You can use them to prime a spot. Like on the tip of your nose, if you um, tend to get oily there and your foundation rubs off, you can use that to prime there too if you can find a shade close to your skin tone. But it's just it's just not as good as a, um, a MAC Paint Pot. I mean, you can buy a MAC Paint Pot like at Ulta for like $11 when it's on sale. I think you might as well just go for the MAC. This is actually a, a new product that I bought. It is a liquid, not liquid, it is a cream shadow. But it's a black cream shadow, so I've literally just been using it for my brows. <laughs> I like how stark and black it is. It's really nice. And it got me out of the rut of just constantly using eyeshadow in my brows. So uh, I like it. I don't know. I'm going to keep it. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. I like the way that this looks right now, at least. So I'll keep it in here. This I'm going to move back into my collection, which it may be a declutter. I got this in my last Try Beauty box, and it's a glow stick. So it's basically just a, like, a, like, not a, it's like a, stick highlighter. Eh. I tried using it. It doesn't really work well on top of powder. Uh, if I'm doing a no makeup makeup day, this isn't what I was going to reach for. So it's, it's kind of a meh from me. I have my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, one of my absolute favorite loose powders, keeping that. I have a little mini bread thing, also keeping that. For face powder, I actually panned the face powder that I had in here before. It was a Physician's Formula one. Totally finished it up. So after I finished that up, I brought in this one. This is the AOA Studio Perfect Press Powder. I'm going to repress this. I actually should put it up here so I can repress it because that actually goes pretty fast once you repress it. And then I decided to bring in this ambient lighting powder in diffused light from hourglass pretty brand new i've had this in my collection for a while and i'm gonna get some good use out of it so for contour i literally just picked this up off of mercari i finally got this is from lunatic cosmetics labs and it's their pro contour book it's the one for lighter skin tones i've been using this non-stop since i got it i really like it so yeah i'm gonna keep it in here i thought about maybe switching it out but i've only had it for like three weeks but i have i've really been liking it so i'm gonna keep it in for now this Z palette, I think since I've got a face powder and I've got a contour palette, I can move this back into my collection and then maybe next month I'll do more single products again. I also finished this face powder up, so I got some use out of it. And I did use Mary Lou, the highlighter, a lot. So I'm glad I did it. I gotta clean this up too. This needs a good clean. <laughs> but I'm gonna move that back in. And I also got a lot of use out of this. This is the 10 pan blush palette from BH Cosmetics. And I used this in my freckles video. I'll throw that up in the cards if you missed it. And I used it a lot and I like it. And I'm good that mine is actually good quality because I've heard some people, unfortunately, their blushes get a lot of hard pan and they're not really usable. So I'm, I'm glad I was able to still get use out of mine. Okay, and so that's everything that we have left in our second kind of miscellaneous powder face drawer. All right, so this next drawer, 
I, it's just a hodgepodge. There's no rhyme or reason to what's in here. This is the collab eyeshadow palette I picked up. I really want to bring, I, would, I really want to shop my stash for eyeshadow palettes, so I think I want to put this to the side for now. I'm also going to put this back into my collection. I got this in the Tri Beauty box as well, but I've actually been able to test this out a few times, and while maybe not something I would have picked out for myself, I think it is a good palette, and you get a really pretty, soft, kind of glam look out of it. So I've tested it out. I like it. I have my thoughts together for the video, so I can put it back into my collection at least until the next Tri Beauty box video. I pulled this out in the middle of the month. This is my Dior uh, highlight. I don't know, I felt like, I really like this highlight. I have hit pan on it, and I just, I felt like going back to it. But I have tons of highlights, and I really want to shop my stash for some highlights, so this can go. This, I don't know why I keep it in this little pouch. This pouch is dirty as hell now. <laughs> I don't know why, it, just, it feels fancy. Alright, this actually is the powder that goes with the concealer I got from Influencer for Pat McGrath Labs. It's a very, very finely milled powder, and it feels like feather light and soft and oh my god I'm so excited to keep testing this out so if anything I might move this up to here to be with the concealer and of course I've got my Sailor Moon products from the Sailor Moon and Colourpop collection I did do a Bochinche chat where I tested out this palette and I really like the palette it's actually really good and I'm surprised that I like it as much as I do so I'm gonna keep this here because I, I want to keep playing with it and I have the two lip sets. Maybe I should I should open these up and I should put them on the top. Yeah. So those will be the lip products that I'll reach for for this month. Won't you be mine? Haha, <laughs> that's cute. I'm gonna hang that one up. And I finally got the Blowin' Smoke palette from Colourpop. I should open this up. I'm gonna keep the packaging too. But I really want to try out a smoky look. Because look how gorgeous this is oh my god it looks like honestly the pictures online don't do it justice it's gorgeous I'm excited so boop <laughs> my two personalities are sitting here okay I think that's everything for here let's go I'll move my empties out let's move into my final drawer Badoo. so 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 I'm gonna keep these glitters here because these are the potential dupes for the Stila Glitter and Glows, so I need to do a video on that too. But I want to do a whole video on that. It deserves a whole video. I My next two Spotlight on Petite palettes are right here. <laughs> it's gonna happen, guys. I swear. It just takes me a while to film them. And unfortunately, I did try out my Modern Renaissance, and I think, I think it did turn. It didn't blend out as nicely as I remembered. I don't think it smells off. I don't think so, but like... I've had this for years. I'm pretty sure I got this in either 2016. Yeah, I got this before I started my YouTube channel. So it's been years. And I, as much as I love it, I don't know. Like, I really want to rebuy it if I have to get rid of it because of the formula. But ABH has been really shitty recently. <laughs> uh... I've got so many palettes like this, but I, I don't know. I've got a special connection with this because it was like, I think, one of the first higher end palettes I ever bought. Uh, if, if it's expired, it's expired, Monica. You gotta, you gotta let it go. So this, uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to get rid of you. Anyone want to hold a, a funeral for me with my, for my modern renaissance? Mer? Okay, that was tough. Okay, so we've cleared out this, uh drawer and we finish clearing out everything I'm going to go ahead and put away all the makeup put the empties in the empties drawer and then we'll move over to my makeup collection and do a lot of shopping I need to shop mustache for I think everything except for foundation and concealer so we've got a lot to go through okay so here we are over in my makeup collection area here i kept the box i like keeping the boxes for a bit this is the pat mcgrath labs uh influencer box that i got i'm very excited <laughs> makes me very happy that i get gifted um it means a lot of work doing reviews like that but uh it it's, makes me feel like a uh, acknowledged in a way and it makes me feel good so anyway let's start from the top this is lip liners. I don't think I need any. Definitely don't need concealers. Let's look at... Do I need eyeliners? Do I really use eyeliners that much? I don't know. Let me let me dig through here. Let's see what we got. 
Okay, so I dumped everything out onto my desk and I picked these out. We're going very color pop. I have two cream gel liners, a yellow one and a white one. I think it'd be fun to do some different looks with that. And then I actually have a black gel liner, not gel liner, <laughs> excuse me, a black liquid liner from ColourPop. I've never tried their black liquid liner, so maybe it's better than the Fenty. I really didn't like the Fenty fly liner, so I'm going to try these out. So we got some good liners picked out. Do I want to look through my single shadows? Hmm... <sighs> Maybe I should bring this one, like this peachy pinky single shadow. This is from Geek Sheet Cosmetics. Now let's try it. We'll bring that one in. I got lashes in here. I rarely use lashes. I've got the rest of my glitter and liquid shadows in here, but I, I actually reach for those pretty often. I've been using them a lot recently. So let's boop boop ba doop come on down this is my nail drawer this is my tape drawer setting sprays i only have a couple left and i already brought a setting spray over there all lipsticks i think i have plenty of lipsticks to be honest because i have the new sailor moon ones from ColourPop. i have all the green lips yeah i'm good for lipsticks for this month so let's move down to primer if i can get there camera's behaving boom okay throw, throw, move so i've got my primers right over here I, hmm, I want to bring out this Makeup Revolution, basically their version of the putty primer, because uh, I've used it a bit, but not a lot. So I'm going to bring that in. And for primer, primer, hmm, let's do, did I already bring that one in? Let's do this one. I'm going to bring in the Pores No More Illuminizer Primer from Dr. Brandt. So I got those two primers. I think that's good. I already have an eye primer. So, and then this is all foundation and stuff. And I got some wipes. But I got plenty of foundations and concealers. So we're good on that front. Let's come down. Come on down. To, okay, I pulled out face powders. I got face powders over here. Bronzers. I've got the contour palette. Maybe I should bring out a bronzer. I know I need a blush. So, let's see. I don't have too many blushes. How about we bring out California? Boxed blush. Will you focus? It's a pretty boxed blush. Let's use this one. Actually, do I want to do a face? Oh, I've got one face palette in there. Yeah, I won't pick another face palette. So we'll, we'll use California. And, hmm, do I want to bring a bronzer in? Let's look down there, because maybe I'll find a face palette, because I do have a whole drawer now for face palettes. Maybe I'll find one that has just bronzers and stuff that I can bring out instead. Fun times now. Highlighters. I've got all the ones up here, and I've got some palettes in the back. Do I, I don't think I need to bring a palette out. I really want to go through here. I've actually got to, like, reorganize some of these. <laughs> a bit of a hot mess. So, one I haven't reached for in a long time. Actually, I know I should save that one for summer. Hmm... What should I use? I actually, I was going through all my products that I had previously decluttered that hadn't already been picked up by friends and family. Um, I'm sending a few products to some friends of mine, and I decided to undeclutter this. <laughs> it's from a while ago. This is the Milani Afterglow Highlight. I forgot why I decluttered this. I mean, it's really pretty. So uh, I'm going to use it and see if I remember why I got rid of it. <laughs> but it's pretty. Should I do another one? That looks like a very bright highlight, so maybe... Let's use this one. This has been a problematic brand. <laughs> this is from Too Faced, and this is, I had it out on display for the longest time, because like I gotta say, the packaging on this is gorgeous, and this is the, their original, like, diamond highlight. I haven't touched it in, like, literally months, so let's try using it and see if I like it enough to actually keep it. And let's move on to the face palette and see if I find something which is bronzer. How am I gonna film this? It's on the floor. All right, hello and welcome to my floor. <laughs> Let's see. I have a blush and glow palette from Profusion. Which one? These are the good. Okay, we've got those. Huh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I've got the... Hmm. I've got this contour and highlight palette, which is really nice, also from Profusion. I've got a lot of profusion in here now. 
what haven't I reached for in a while? Well, you know what? I can use the palette that I have now for contour and bronzer. And I should bring this out because I really haven't used it that much. So I'll bring that. Yeah, so I think we're good. Let's go over now to eyeshadow palettes. I really want to pick out some, maybe some oldie but goodies. All right, and so here we are at my eyeshadow palette book shelf. I don't know, it's been a while since I shot my stash over here, so let's just look through and see what we find. I think I've got tiny palettes, so I think we're good on tiny palettes. Let's see, I've got Juvia's Place, I've got the Flower Palette, I've got the Moonwell Bundle. I haven't used this yet. This is the Lemonade Palette. I should bring this out and actually, like, use it. So let's use that one. And I think I found my other one. I want to use the Rustic Glam from Dominique Cosmetics. Also, one I have not dug into yet. So we've got that one and that one. Do I want to pick one more? Hmm, I'm going to move these back. Will they fit? I think I need a bigger box for my smaller palettes. Let's let's go down to the bottom shelf now. And let's see, anything down here that's really catching my fancy. <laughs> I've got the uh, big wet and wild palette, I got the zodiac palettes, I've got the MAC. Mm, should I bring this out? There's actually a really interesting video that uh, Jen Les Reviews literally just posted today about how the original formula of this palette is different from the palette currently being sold. And I love this palette, I've actually used it a lot, but it's really shitty that Morphe is so inconsistent and that this is no, it's literally no longer available. So let me bring this out and I'll use this one. Okay, so. Let me put all of this back into my everyday makeup basket, clean it up all nice, and I'll show you my finished basket. Okay, and here we have our newly organized, very neat and clean March basket. I've got everything I want to do in my new review roundup right over here. We have the liners over here, all the Sailor Moon lipsticks here, the lip gloss, and then all the green lipsticks. This is what's in the first drawer for foundation, concealer, primer, and a little bit of powder. This is the second drawer, which has the contour palette, the highlighters, the blush, and the face powders. The third drawer has the blush and glow palette, the Morphe palette, the Dominique Cosmetics, and the two new color pop palettes. And the last drawer has the next two Spotlight Un Petit palettes and the Midas Cosmetic Lemonade palette. So that is everything for March. I feel like that video took a little bit longer, but it was fun to like shop through and pick out stuff and just kind of clean everything. I like now that it's like organized. It's so much better. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll throw the playlist of all of my monthly makeup baskets up in the cards if you would like to binge watch. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.